Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and this is the next video tutorial of online fast food uh, project and in this uh, in the last video tutorial you have seen already about the subcategories controller uh, where we have CRUD operations and in this video tutorial this time I am going to uh, teach you about the items controller so first of all uh, create a item view model for the item uh, items controller for the CRUD operation so here you can say uh, ID, title, description, price, category ID and subcategory ID so is there. If you want to show the category as well as the subcategory so you can add category as, uh, as a model and uh, or subcategory as a model right here. Okay so uh, here you can say that uh, in the create action method uh, uh, create a instance of item view model first of all. And one by one, you have to just pass that uh, view model uh, to the uh, category uh, return view. Before that, you have to assign category first of all. And when we click on any category, then their respective subcategory will be loaded by using partial uh, method. Or you can say that use Ajax. Okay. And uh, rather than you have to use uh, any other uh, things in uh, using jar jquery or javascript code so item view model vm equals to new item view model view back dot category equals to new select list context dot categories id and title and if you want to add subcategory right here then there is a uh, use less right here because just i want to pick any category uh, on the um, in a create action method then subcategory will be loaded so there is a, a use less right here so just removed it okay so uh, uh, create a subcategory uh, partial method that return the JSON value okay so just create a another uh, action method for the subcategory and right here you can say that uh, get subcategory So uh, in the right uh, in the get subcategory method here we have a category ID so so that we can pick subcategory from the category ID. So uh, using context dot subcategory dot where. Uh, x dot category id so here you can say that uh, where subcategory context dot subcategory dot where x dot category id is double equals to category id first of default view back dot category equals to new select list uh, just return that uh, in the form of the JSON that is the subcategory so new select list you want to just uh, return the select list form uh, JSON subcategory but you know that uh, subcategory is actually a uh, type of uh, a data so one by one you have to retrieve all these okay and uh, the next one is to create uh, a post action method for the create but in the later video I will cover it so, sorry uh, in this video, uh, just after a few seconds, I will cover the post section method of the sub uh, create items controller. Okay, so uh, if you want to upload any images, then you can say ENC type you have uh, you want to add it. So this is the post section method of the create for and just removed it. Any part any code from the create post, and first of all check model state model state dot is valid okay so vm dot image url and just drag and drop the code from the tools there is already have a code snippet for the file upload so here we have
images. New folder and call images. And in images, you have to add items. So finally, you can say that uh, vm dot image URL uh, after uh, adding the image uh, in the items. So you can set uh, the web host environment for your uh, www root folder. So just add i web host environment interface and inject that interface in a constructor. So here we have. Now after that you can use the web host environment in your application for the uh, path dot combine so web host environment dot web root path upload directory that is images and items and the file name so after that you can say that vm dot image url dot copy to async in the file stream where path is exist and the file mode is create now after that you can go for the uh, just assign the image in the model properties that is image url so here we have the upload dir and slash the file name. Now, after that, your image will be added in uh, in the page. So just add a mirrored model item model equals to new item. Okay, so everything is fine. Now just go for the next part that is images add. Now just add the description, title, price, category ID, subcategory ID to the. Uh, mm, to the models so after adding the image you have just to add some price description etc other things you have you know that so uh, basically you can say that the create post action method is the base uh, is the type of view model uh, in which we can add uh, some properties to the model by using the view model properties so price description title and category ID and the subcategory ID as well. Okay. So here we have the subcategory ID equals to VM dot subcategory ID. After that, you can make some changes in the context and add that model into the database table. So the last statement is underscore context dot items dot add model you know that in the latter video session I will use a repository so these all these are just convert into the repository pattern so wait for some times I will convert it, it in the repository pattern so here we have the create post is there so just uh, change the HTTP cat with the post so everything is fine now uh, after that you can say that context sorry uh, just return a redirect to action on the index page so here we have the context.items.include x.category and here we have the item view model so just i want to convert that uh, category uh, just uh, just i want to convert that model into the view model just because I want to uh, use a view model in the view section. So just convert it uh, here by using the select operator and you just convert it new item view model. Model tends to uh, new item view model. And here you can add uh, the model uh, ID equals to model.id. 
similarly title description price category id and subcategory id and also you can add the category as well as subcategory Okay, so here we have the category ID equals to model dot category ID, subcategory ID equals to model dot subcategory ID. So everything is fine. Now you can say that the subcategory ID is assigned model dot subcategory ID. Now after that you can just say that items just pass to the view section. So here we have a list of items uh, will show on the browser window. Create is uh, doing now just do uh, add by using scaffolding and in the later video session I will uh, decorate it with the bootstrap so wait for some times but uh, here I will uh, add here I am going to add only scaffolds okay so wait for some times for the bootstrap so scaffolding actually take them uh, take times uh, if you know about the bootstrap and the css and uh, very well designing in html so you can design your template and uh, yourself um, by using the view and here we have a item items is the height by route id so id equals to item dot item dot id and if you know about the uh, tag helpers then you can use route id So here we have a id equals to item dot id and id equals to item dot id. So everything is fine. Now just go for the next section to uh, play your uh, window. So here we have just click on the items and uh, ID title description everything is empty. So just add first of all and you can then say that the title is there. But uh, here uh, here we have some missing things uh, like when we choose any category from the select category drop down then uh, subcategory ID will be loaded uh, partially. So uh, here you can add the title is the South Indian Foods and uh, description is uh, looking like a uh, ck editor just i will use uh, in the ck editor in that here things so image url just you want to select it at least i've heard so just you have to add it any picture from here So wait for some times and uh, you, will see, you will see the output. 